Well, hi, I am back again. Hi, everyone. This is me, Priyanka, and welcome to Supra Chat Live with Pri. Uh, as I said, I know you guys are waiting for this live chat because I have this beautiful queen from Indonesia, and I know you guys were waiting for this. So, I'll quickly see if Jahan is here. Salamat Malam Indonesia. I learned that for you guys because I know you guys are so excited for this live chat. And as I said, your wish is our command. So that is why we have your favorite Jahan Almira today with us. Don't worry, I'm quickly adding her. I know you guys are excited. I know you guys have a lot of questions to ask. So please, you can, during this live conversation, you can definitely leave your question for Jihad. And I'll ensure that I ask them as many as I can. Yes, now she's here. I'll quickly. My God, you're sure. Hi. I'm so I sorry. Think was <laughs> yes. No, it's absolutely okay. Everybody was actually waiting for you, Jahan. They are so excited to welcome you. I must say that I am amazed to see so much of love from Indonesia and your country is so beautiful. The people Thank are you. so loving. So if you can yes. just quickly wave to them because they have been waiting to see your face. Yes. Hi teman-teman semua, makasih banyak yang udah pada tune in. So if you guys are actually excited, um, jangan minta tolong biar stay di sini aja, buat nontonin sampai akhir. Karena setelah ini juga jangan masih ada ada live lagi. So just stay tuned and watch the whole conversation going on. Alright, Jihan, I first yes. I want to ask you, how are you doing? How is everything back home? How are you doing? Well, we're and actually uh, we're staying home very patiently. Well, mostly for us. Well, okay. I mean, we can't really deal with anything. Yes, as the winners, well, not the winners. I mean, basically us. We have like a lot of a lot of a lot of consciousness also from the organization that we're in, Yayasan Putri Nation. We're very thankful for their attention to us. And they're just keeping us home. They always keep us health, uh, keep our health. They maintain it very well. They always check on us every 20 minutes, like, hey, how are you guys doing and everything. So we're just staying home patiently. And I'm, I'm hoping that everyone else is doing the same thing. Yes, how about you though? Exactly, I think that is the need of the R. That is the need of the R. I am good. We are also in lockdown. So we are also staying home. Yes, we all are staying home because our government has announced 21 days lockdown here. So we all are staying home. I think your live chat is stuck in between. Stuck yes, I'm stuck sorry. The reception is not really well here. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Is there an network issue? Um, no, it's absolutely okay, Jihan. I can understand this. Yes, okay. Hopefully it's going to stay like this. All right. All right. And how are you staying positive? Because I can see that everybody is uh, very hyper. They are anxious. So how are you keeping calm during the situation? Well, for me myself, I'm quite. I'm not. Uh, well, I'm a positive person. So as much as possible, the only thing I can, I can calm calm on myself is like I have to to you know fill in my days and my activities with something i like maybe my hobbies because i really like to box it got me a little bit okay. stoked because you know i was just very i was i was very active just like a week before this the stay home program was actually declared in mm -hmm. this country especially in my area in yep. jakarta and then all of a sudden like you guys have to stay home the gyms are closed and everything like people just stay in your room, lock yourself in. Like, okay, how am I going to deal with this? So I try to bring whatever I like from outside, either it's from, whether it's food or whether it's actually, maybe if I like to put on makeup or play around with 
all these beauty products and I'm just gonna have it online shipped here or maybe actually I have it you know I I I, I have it uh, prepared before all this thing is closed down because you know it's not just all of a sudden like it closes yeah. down and then it's all shuts just like that no of course there's there's still the process you know and then for me myself you know I really like it when my my endorphins are actually pumped so whenever I box I feel relaxed and just happy so I do that for myself I shadow box sometimes in the bathroom or maybe in the living room and I hope that my mom is not actually bothered with that so yes I, okay. I just listen to music and then just play around with myself with my body and then just going around and yeah that's how I actually maintain myself and feel and keep myself sated to be honest yeah all right so, yeah, you, you are already a popular name in, in indonesia you are an actor as well and i was yes. reading an interview of yours that you always wanted to be a beauty queen so what oh. drove you towards pageant okay pageant this is a long story short and quite interesting to be honest so when i was okay. about i think it was 7 or 8 i was in the room with my dad He was watching TV. It was all this beauty queens and then this 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 uh, beauty contestants, all beautiful, walking down with swimsuits. But then, being the possessive daughter I was, I was like, "Dad, why are you watching other girls? Like, you have mom here. I was like, turn off the turn off the TV or something." And then he's like, "You have no idea how beautiful these girls are. These women are like, you can't imagine how much, how many people wants to be with them or be them." I was like. Really, and then I was just you know me and my dad were we're like br- brothers I could say because like he would actually take me to the programs he has whether it's doing the chores or actually um, you know furnishing something or, or or you know all those men stuff. So I was like being the guy I was. I was like really, and then he was challenging me. Do you think you can be there one day? I was like maybe because you know I like challenges, but then I wasn't really thinking about it. But as I grew up, I was I started uh-huh. off as a model, and the uh, why I started was also because in my hometown it was Samara, Central Java, one hour flight from okay. Jakarta. Um, I was quite tall for my age, and as a model, it was actually suitable as a, to to fit the standards. And then my mom was like, "Yeah, just go for it." And then like you know, well, which which mother won't be proud to see her? to see her daughter actually walk down the runway or walk on the runway or actually uh-huh. see their daughter's faces posted on magazines and everything and then i went through and then uh, my mom was like but you know if you just okay Hi Priyanka, are you still with me? <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're still with me. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, she was like, "You're not, you're not to stay like this. Like, and if you're not reached until you're on the tenth level or anything, so oh no, it's lagging again. Um, yeah. Hi. I think there's okay. bad okay, internet connection. Yeah. Yes. You can show me, right? And then, yes. Uh, now, I, now I can reach you. And then, yeah. Um, okay. And then, we moved out. We moved to Jakarta after I graduated high school, and I started casting, uh-huh. auditions, and it was it was a, there was so many obstacles. There was a lot of factors that I have to fix for myself. It's, I can't act. I don't know how exactly to deal with the film camera. I mean, I w- I'm used to the camera, photo shoot cameras, like you know, just pose and everything. And then they told me like, okay, uh-huh. get in there. All right, I was just there. And then action. I was just like, stiff. And then like, go say it. Like, say it. Like, say what? Okay. And then I was like, say what? Your name, your age. Oh, hello. It's a casting here. It's an audition. Like, and then I was like. Ouch. Okay, so I went out and then I asked him, "What are we supposed to do? Like, well, see your age and everything." And then I asked my agent, "Like, oh, you're not? I forgot. This is your first time. We didn't brief you enough and everything." 
Okay. So I did that like after, like for a strand of two years, about two years. Uh -huh. And then I got my first commercial was on my second going to third year. That was, I was only like, it was a cameo or something. And then little by little, it was starting to progress. And then I got, I got into a film, a good film. And then I got into a Siri and everything, all, all those good stuff. So I'm actually very, and my, I, I mean, like, I, I don't know whether it's a coincidence or something, but then on my last project, the end of the contract of the last project was right before, uh, right a month or two before the, con uh, before the, the contest of Pamilihan Putri Indonesia. So I was like, mm -hmm. you know what? I think this is the right time for me to actually challenge myself more because not only it was something that I wanted from the start, it was also my father's dream. It was also my parents' dream, mine's, and of course, to bring up Central Java. You know, like I have, I, I'm carrying Central Java here back on my back, uh -huh. and I'm very proud to become orang Jawa Tengah uh, in, in Indonesian. And I was, I'm, I'm very proud to be to to be chosen because you know I was living in Jakarta, so there was two choices: I could be um, holding, representing Java. Uh, Central Java or actually Jakarta, so there was two choices, and then it was announced like there might be changes on the representative of the um, not content, sorry, the 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 province. So I was like, oh no, uh -huh. no please, please don't make don't 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 make me be in Jakarta because like you know I I'm very I want to be holding Central Java that bad. So and then like okay, Jan, okay. there was a little pause. I was like, oh no. There was this this like five second pause like please 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 say Jawa tengah say Jawa tengah like Jawa tengah. oh I was so relieved like okay I'm so happy and yes I was here I'm I'm here carrying Jawa tengah and now I'm here carrying Indonesia up to Poland for the Super National Cup. Yeah, you, know, you started your career really early like you I think you started off at 2011 is that right? Yes, yes, 2011. What struggles did you face, you know, to be being here at the moment where you are? Did you face any struggles or difficulties and how you overcame all of that, the challenges? Okay. The biggest challenge was my accent and my body weight, to be honest. Because okay. for my okay. accent, it was for Indonesian because we weren't really, we weren't really suggested to speak in English because lots of lines and dialogues okay. are actually um spoken in Bahasa Indonesia and then like I have this very thick accent of Jawa Tengah where it's called Madok and I have to take that okay. out like how do I do that so I have to adapt and adjust with the people here in Jakarta at least like I have to go around and socialize more and it was it was not difficult for me to socialize but you know to fit in the people here that I'm you know Jakarta is the home uh, it's the, the the it's the what do you call it the mixture of lots of lots of lots of people from different province even countries so there's uh -huh. lots of different characters and personalities we're supposed to cope in like how do i do this but then whether i like it or not it's not acting it's not pretending but you just have to fit in in some ways that you can as much as you can so that was a little bit of a challenge because not everyone likes you not everyone could get the way you're trying to interact or communicate with someone that's one. And second uh -huh. was actually my, um, well, it's not my physical feature, but then there's the, the standard on, on TV. They always say mm -hmm. that, you know, on TV, you always gain like another five kilos. So you have to fix that. It was so frontal. I was like, ouch. But okay, I guess, you know, before I was like a total tomboy, like 100% tomboy, that even someone, whenever they see me pass by, they could actually mistaken me as a man. <laughs> I'm opening it up to you guys. Here. I can't believe it. Yes. Yeah, because okay, look, I'm going to show you a little thing, a little part. My even my posture here, I have like really broad shoulders, and this is me not working okay. out at all. I was just well, I was just boxing one week before this Corona crisis, but then that's it. So I'm pretty sure it's going back again. That's how it was formed, and yeah, they were they were saying that no. Your, your broad features are making you look like a man. So if you get thinner, you get even more 
you get even more masculine. So what do you want me to do? You know, I'm always in this dilemma whether should I actually work out, whether I should actually do like a very serious diet or everything or anything you're actually asking for. But then I realized because uh -huh. in this film industry, you have to be able to actually adjust yourself because you're not always going to get the characters or the roles that like you're going to be in this one role as a tomboy or as a feminine woman or something. And that's only one. No, they're always saying, well, this is your challenge, whether you like it or not. If you actually are serious about this and you want this that bad, you have to know how to maintain and actually, you know, play around with your own features and your own, you know, emotions and everything. So that's a huge challenge for me. Body, physical changes, you know, it was a sacrifice. That's why I want to know that before entering the pageant, like, did you have any kind of fear or like, like a thought that what if I didn't make it because you were already an established name and you know, there's a risk. What if you didn't make it? So did you yes. have that kind of fear? Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. A lot of people are actually the ones scaring me, to be honest. They weren't actually asking or talking about it, but they were actually scaring me. Like, you know, if you're not going to make it, you're going to be this, 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 like, guys chill I'm, I'm fine like why are you guys caring i mean like don't if you, the more you're going to pressure uh, pressurize me that way it's going to make me feel even more down you know but then i realized that I, i'm 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 a nothing to lose person so what whether okay. i choose something that's in front of my path like i know i know the positive and the negative i know the consequences and then like if i make it then then thank god i'm very grateful that it Got, it went through the decision or the vision I actually imagined in my head and the thing that I really wanted in my heart. But then if it's not, then my life still goes on. Like I'm still going to continue with my films or I'm still going to work on with whatever I choose to learn more about. Because to be honest, I'm actually planning on going to a film school. I, really, I would really be interested to oh, be wow. in a film school. So if I don't make any of those, I still have lots of options to do, you know, like, and, and I'm not really, I'm not scared of making a mistake, even with the name, not the name, but I mean, even with um, the, not, not really the followers, but, but with the people who maybe would label me as like, oh, Jihan, like she's an actress or she's a celebrity or whatever they would think of, but I'm not afraid and I'm not embarrassed. People fail in any circumstances and maybe if it was if this was the circumstance chosen for me to fail then it's all, it's all right i'm not embarrassed anyway it's like it's 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 normal i'm not going to be the only one facing this like i can imagine the other girls who's actually sacrificed lots of things as well so it doesn't make yeah. a difference so yes. what is difficult being an actor or being a beauty queen because you have seen both now yes um <laughs> a beauty queen <laughs> To be a beauty queen, that's a little bit more of a challenge because, you know, uh -huh. as a beauty queen, you have to be very, well, here, at least as a Putri Indonesia, you have to be regal, you have to be very aware of yourself, the way you talk, the way you carry yourself or represent yourself in front of people, all, you know, um, just well set and well prepared. You can't go out with your face, like bare face, with your hair all wet and everything, well, being Jihan as like my daily routine before I was actually in, in the pageantry world. I was just like, I would go out with a t-shirt and the jeans or, and uh, or my hair just bunned and everything. So I will always have to prepare three hours before now. Well, before I would oh, just God. take a shower like 30 minutes before I'm supposed to leave. And so life has actually, changed. Life has changed. I mean, whether I like it or not, I'm only 19. Uh, sorry, I'm only 20. Oh my goodness, I just had my birthday. I forgot that. I'm sorry. And I'm 20. So I'm growing up. And whether I like it or not, as I grow up, I would have to face this kind of things, you know, like when you're when you yes. become an absolute woman later, you have to be aware of yourself, you have to take care of yourself, and you have to be prepared and you have to look as nice as possible in front of people and all those stuff. So, I'll get used to it. 
So this is a practice <laughs> for me. This is a practice. We're getting for me. used to it. We're getting used yes. to it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now I'll quickly take some of the questions that came your way. Um okay. uh Kitty217 wants to know your favorite music, your favorite color and your favorite actor. Okay. My favorite music again okay, in general, my genre, okay? Would be classic rock or metal. That's okay. One. My favorite color would be black. And okay. my favorite actor would be Johnny Depp. Okay. Now your yes. fan page Jihan Almira updates wants to know who is your biggest motivation to join pageants? The biggest motivation behind joining pageants. Okay, my biggest motivation well yep. for as an individual for me mm -hmm. would be my father, but then in the pageantry world it, I would re I really like Demi, to be honest. Demi, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. From South Africa. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, from South okay. Africa. Yeah, okay. Yes, and yeah, she, she would be she would be my uh, my actual role model because I really like her personality. Like she's not making it. She she's being herself because you know I yeah. I see her on stage and then I see the way she answers interviews or when she's actually interacting with people outside. She's just the same person. Whether, yes, she is. She, yeah, and she's. I don't see like there's this. She's an um, well, not ambitious as like. Oh, I have to win. Like you know, I don't see. I don't feel that vibe when she's just walking there. She's just. She's just enjoying herself and like this is what I want. Like you know, like there's this bubbly, really fun, flirty girl like up there. You can just feel that. And then like, I am. I I have this like attachment. I mean like. I feel like I just want to see this girl a lot, you know, like I had that feeling when I, I saw her on, on stage. Wow. Now, I saw your recent photo shoot with Miss Supranational Antonia Forsyth as well, and you both were looking stunning. Tell me, how was yeah. the experience of meeting her? And how was the experience behind that shoot? Because you both were looking gorgeous, regal and gorgeous, I would say. Thank you. Well... Antonia, she's a very welcoming person. She's actually very warm as well. And she was one of the person I actually interacted with from, uh, from, from, from the three Miss Universe, Miss International, and Miss Supra. She was the first yeah. one I was actually interacting with. And I feel like there was just a connection, like, girl, I feel you. You know, like, I had that, that feeling. So when we had the photo shoot, it was when really we went through comfortably and it didn't feel like I was taking a picture with someone I just knew or you know sometimes when you have a photo shoot with a not a stranger but someone you just got introduced to especially this is Miss Super National 2019 I feel like you know how you know how that feels like yeah like yeah I'm, I'm Miss Super National Indonesia 2020 you know like that kind of feeling so I didn't have that I didn't have uh, uh, I mean Antonia was really uh, she's very wholeheartedly, so I didn't feel like she's trying to, well, you know, like, okay, come, come in here. She, she, she's not giving me that vibe, so I feel like, I like her, okay, I really like her. So I can actually be myself when I had the photo shoot, because, you know, if sometimes, you know, you can feel that you're blocked in some way, your emotions or maybe yeah. your, your, your aura just won't come out when you feel some ways that you're not supposed to. Wow, well said. Um, Jessica Thank wants you. to know, what is your message to the girls all over the world? So Jessica's question is, your message to the girls over the world. And Jihan, I think you are somebody, uh, like in this conversation, what I can make out, you are what you are, you're fun, and you don't have any inhibitions to share yourself with the world. And that is the best thing, that you are accepting who you are. And so I would love, you know, your message to the girls all over the world. Okay, yes. Well, my message to the girls is actually, it might sound a little cliche or it sounds mainstream, but to be honest, just being your true self would actually show the best or the authentic, authentic trait that you actually have. Because, you know, sometimes when you try to cover something out, you never know whether that's actually the thing that makes exactly. you stand out, that can, that can make you be, interest, be more interesting that where people are actually like, hey, I want to listen to this girl. Hey, you know what? I think your idea can actually change the world. You know, so don't block that out. 
just because you want to be someone else or you just want to fit into one standard that someone has given in the line. So just be yourself. And I'm, when I say this, I actually mean it, be yourself. Be the most, uh, the best version or the positive version of you. If you feel like there is something missing out or so you feel that something is lacking from you, whether it's negative or, or something you feel like you have to fix, then fix it. But don't let it go or don't make, uh, uh, make a great introspection about it instead of just blocking it out of yourself. Well said. Um, Andy08 Pratama wants to know the three things that comes to your mind when you share Indonesia. Indonesia. With the word Indonesia. Yes. Okay. Yes. Culture, the heritage, and the people. Definitely. That's, the that's, people that's, are amazing. I mean, after I announced the live chat, I can't even tell you how much messages, how many messages I have received from your fans, from people from Indonesia. And that was so overwhelming to read all the comments. They were sending me love. And that was actually amazing. Sorry. Hi. It was lagging. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Is it fine now? Okay. Now, the next question is, what is that one thing people should learn from Indonesia? People should learn from your country. Respect. I think there's so much to learn. There's yes. so much to learn, actually. Mm -hmm. But there's this one thing that I find very powerful from Indonesians, which is respect. Because, well, would you like me to explain it? Or... Yes, definitely. We would love yeah. to show from you, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, the respect that Indonesians actually show to fellow Indonesians or actually people outside foreigners that actually come, whether as tourists or immigrants, they're, they're, they, they don't, I mean, I don't really find, I don't, there's, it's not a huge issue of, I'm sorry, I mean, like, it's, it's not trying to, I'm not trying to insult or, 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 any, or anything, but racism and all those kind of things, I find very, I mean, there, it's not saying that there's none, but it's very less. So I don't, I always feel like they're trying to, they're trying to put their shoes on someone else's before they actually move or say something out. And they always, it's always thought from elders, even my parents, they always tell me no matter how bad someone is acting to you, always show that you're a nice person, always be nice, always imagine that they're, they're being this person because they're actually having or battling something that's not pleasant, so always be nice and all those kind of things. So I would actually, in general, I would say it's a respect, like in one word, it's just respect. So yes, that's one thing that's very power, powerful from Indonesians. Wow. And Jane, you have so many followers. I mean, your fans are amazing. They shower you with so much of love. Does that sometimes add any pressure to you that, oh, I'm going to re represent these people? So does it give you more strength or also add pressure to you? Both, to be honest. Both. Okay. As strength, it would be the motivation they give me that, man, there is lots of lots of lots of um support that's actually behind me and if i fall they're just going to be there their hands are going to be wide open to yes. push me up again and then if i have a if i'm actually hesitant hesi hes hesitating on something i would just go back and, and ask them is there something i must fix is there something i'm missing would and they're just on my back and they're ready to actually give me their voices or their opinions and some ways that actually would boost my confidence or actually my knowledge uh -huh. and everything. So I have lots of them actually DMing me and or commenting. Lots of very good stuff. And they would tell me nicely, like, hi, I mean, like, I'm not trying to bring you down, but I just want to say that you can try to fix on this and that. What do you think if you wear this kind of dress instead, this color? And like, that's, that's very great. nice, to be honest, because like, it means that it's not only the people I'm working with, it's not only my family that's the one actually supporting me in some ways that, well, I'm, I'm involved, so I have to do it for you, and I have to be working for you. It's not that way. I mean, like, these people, are, it comes from their heart. 
and it gives me yes it touches me really it touches me very very deeply but then that's the one that becomes the pressure because they're actually giving it out from their hearts and if i actually disappoint them that's the time they're i'm going to break them as well so it's actually you know it's a dilemma as well but as much as possible i just want to do my best and to those who's actually supporting me i would only there's just a little message to saying that every woman that's going to be standing on that stage is all worth it i'm sure they're standing there because there's a reason we have our own our own um qualities that i'm sure miss supernational sees and knows that yes. it's more that is actually not related but strong enough to carry the brand of miss supernational Well, sir, I'm I'm sure that with love, there 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 is also a lot of negativity online. Do you face negativity, or how do you uh, handle negativity online? Yes, I had the same question during my grand final night. Yes, and okay. A lot of people are actually not. Uh, they're some globally they're satisfied with the answer because it's realistic, but then from okay. the pageantry world, they would be saying that. that's very frontal but then you know like in general you know if you if you feel if you feel that you're disturbed by comments or hate speeches online what do you do usually you delete it or you block it or you just leave it alone but then that's what i answered on stage and the that's so frontal don't do that I'm like okay i'm sorry maybe i'm just going to give, give it a little uh, uh, i'm just going to smooth smooth it a bit so but what i do usually if i have the the hate speech or anything I just leave them alone. I was just saying that because that's in general what people usually do. But for me myself, I just leave it alone. I read it if it actually makes sense and I can actually do something or take the positive positivity out of that negative line or phrase they're stating for me. I take it. I'm like, okay, I'll try to fix that. Let's see if it works. But if it doesn't, then I'm just going mm-hmm. to go back to who I was before that every that that most people also agrees to me. that's usually what i do and sometimes if i just feel a little bit um cheeky i would actually reply to them in a joke way you know but then that was me before this pageantry world thing so uh, but i wouldn't do that again now i'm just going to leave it alone okay now i have some quick questions for you just don't think too much while answering them um mm-hmm. what is that one word that best describes you persistent okay what is that one yes. thing you can't live without my mom oh no it's lagging sorry i'm sorry can you show me okay yes. now what is that Hi, one sorry. word you can't live without that one sorry Hello. Can you show me? Hello. Yes. Uh, what is that one word you can't live without? One word. Sorry. What is that one thing you can't live without? One thing. Uh, well, one thing. I answered my mom, but then that's one thing. Okay. <laughs> yes. What's another thing? Well, something related to music. So maybe I would say. my playlist or my ipod let's say ipod yes okay your favorite food i listen to music like literally every second of the day so it would be let's say ipod okay and what is your favorite food sorry can you please repeat that i think yes your favorite food is there a bad network there internet connection is bad it there? was it was Yes. Okay. Yes, it was, but is All it, right. I think it's What is your favorite now. food? Yes. Okay. Your favorite food? I think there is connectivity issue from your end. Are you getting some okay, calls over? Is, is it okay I mean, now? Okay. No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. That's why I was trying to check on the on the signal it's fine actually okay yes. okay okay my favorite right. food what is your favorite food yes 
rendang. Okay. Your favorite English. book? Okay, your favorite book? book? See, that's one thing I don't actually read, but I don't really read books, but if I was supposed to, I would it would be a novel. It was it's called Frostbite. And I still have it until today. It was a childhood book and I have it until today. Okay. Oh, and I'm so I'm so sorry it's not stable. Okay. okay. Yes. It's okay. I'm sure people understand that internet connection can be an issue. It's okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Which is your favorite? Okay, your favorite movie. I think you said it already. Your favorite movie. My favorite movie. Okay, uh, The Matrix. Okay. Your favorite place to visit? I'm sorry, can you please repeat that? Yes, your favorite place to visit. Or favorite country to visit? Okay, favorite country would be Lebanon. Okay. Oh yeah, you have roots from there as well. I read it. Yes, my father is Lebanese. Okay. Now what is that one thing that annoys you the most? People screaming. <laughs> People screaming. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Now what is that one thing that you want the world to know about you and that they already don't they don't know about you? What is that one thing you want the world to know about you? Okay. I had a dream to become a part of the military world here in here in Indonesia to actually fight with the TNI um more focused okay. on as becoming the navy here in Indonesia it's called Denjaka. I just love the water okay. very much. My grandparents were 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 also a part of the army, so I wanted to become like them. <laughs> And you recently shared their pictures as well, right? It was an emotional post. I saw that recent post of yours. You shared the picture of your grand grandparents. Oh yes, yes. Um, the the last one was uh my grandparent, uh, my grandfather from yeah my my father's side. Yes. Yes, he was he was one of them and my my grandpa from my mom was also a militia was also, is also from the army is in the army and he would tell me okay. so many stories about it it's it's very interesting Okay now what is your dream role if i may ask you your dream role my dream role okay in the movies It would be oh you mean like in in the film industry right yes okay. yes something that you really want to do yeah a silent killer to be honest you know like you know oh, scream wow. where yes emma so please remind me emma watson uh, no it was it's not emma stone uh, no it was not emma stone sorry what what's her name ah uh, emma it's emma Yes, she was you never know it, but she was the, she was the killer. So, yeah, it would be it would be interesting to have a role like that. You know, she's very normal and then all of a sudden she stabs you from the back or she would haunt you on your days and nights. I think you have a very bad connection because um I think the live is getting stuck. Um can you hear me now? Wait. Yes, yes. I I can. Okay, perfect. And now what is that one okay. funny thing about you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> This has always been me from the start even from kindergarten kindergarten until today. I'm a class clown. So whenever I'm in front of people or the people I actually basically anyone I would just joke around and goof off. And yeah, okay. that, that's why they would actually see a very much contrast when they see me on Instagram and then all of a sudden they would see me in person or maybe in lives like this like Man, I thought you were all this regal all and you know very stiff and all that. I'm like, ah, fooled you. <laughs> Now we all know who the real Jahan is, honestly. <laughs> behind those behind those gorgeous pictures, we all understand who you are, Najihan. 
and i could feel that fun side of you i can you know it's beautiful actually i would say it's actually beautiful to be who you are that's what true beauty is as for me um what scares you the most jahan what is that one thing that scares you the most I'm sorry. You will have to repeat that because your live got stuck. Oh, it's absolutely okay. I'm sure they understand that. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All yeah, right. Also, we need some. Others. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in any circumstances and factors, whether it's to my mom or to those who supporting me or to who, to those who I'm facing, just everyone point is like disappointing. I don't want to disappoint people. Okay. I'm sure yes. your fans won't be disappointed with you, Jehan, because I understand there is a lot of responsibility when you are representing your country, but I'm sure that you'll give in your best and people would be so proud of you. Your country is beautiful. They would be so proud when you go on to that stage and represent your Indonesia. Thank you. All right. Uh, the Dina Maharaj Maharajan says, "Hi Jehan, I am so impressed by your personality." Thank you. Hello. So they are loving your personality. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Now Freza says love from India. Love. Oh, you're getting love from India. India. Thank you. Okay. How many Regards countries have you traveled to? How many countries have you traveled to? Are you a traveler? Well, I I I I love to travel but then I just don't have the chances to go because before okay. I was still in school so I only get to go during summer breaks and whenever it's summer break I would go I usually go to America to visit my aunt okay. from my father's side San Francisco and that's always where and then you know when whenever I'm I mean like whenever I'm in with my family I tend to just stay and spend the time with them so I don't really go out and once I go out it's just like going to somewhere near cuz seeing the condition of my my uh, my aunt or my uncle you know like they're quite they they're they're quite um they 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 would they wouldn't really choose to go around so i'm like okay I, i'm little one so i have to adjust to them and yeah and would be america the united states and lebanon hong kong like all those mainstream places to be honest yeah All right. And last question of this chat, Jihan. I don't want to end this chat, but we have to actually end it. Um, so the last question: You have so many lovers all over all over the world. What message you want to give to them? And any last thoughts? Okay. To all your fans. Yeah. To all my fans. All right. Well, to see the things I'm actually facing right now, and my friends. two of my other friends i see that there's a lot of it's not far apart from the negativity online and to those people to those who are actually supporting me or maybe my other friends please we're all here carrying the name of indonesia so in whatever category we're carrying or we're chosen to be at please just appreciate us that way because we're here we're happy to be carrying indonesia in the different contests or events whether it's miss universe whether it's miss super national whether it's miss international or others and we're here doing it for you so your support means a lot to us so whatever if you have an opinion that you want us that that can make us grow or develop better say it in a nice way and don't 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 play around and you know being a hypocrite to our friends or to to you know like playing around like hey it's jihan uh, jihan's fans or it's Are you must friends or this uh, are you must fans or anything like they're trying to play around with our names like please don't do that because it actually would hurt their feelings especially in times like this where we're mostly staying home so our this is like yeah. our phones is actually our power wherever we just have to we we we're, we're, we're left with the phone so please use it as positive as possible and spread and just spread love Yeah. Miss the next day or even today. So make the most out of the time we have now.
All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Jihan. I think hello. Hi, can you hear me? All right. Thank you so much, Jihan. It was lovely talking to you. Lots of love to you. All the very best for my super national. Thank you so much. I hope to see you around, and I hope we get to catch right, up right yes. after this. Stay safe. Yes, take... definitely. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye. See you soon. Bye. All right. Bye. All right. Hi, everyone. That was um, Jahan for you. I'm really sorry. There was some signal problem from Jahan's side, but uh, we loved your comments. I was reading it all. Don't be sorry. It was lovely interacting with Jahan. And I have to say, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the love that you guys have showered. I learned this for you guys. Aku Chinta Kamu, Tarima Kasi Banya. So thank you so much, everyone. Lots of love, Indonesia. Please take care of yourself. Love from India, and please spread love, spread positivity. And as Jihan said, just spread love and spread smiles. And lots of love to you all. Love from India as well. Namaste and bye, Indonesia. Take care of yourself. Bye. Terima kasih.